Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching us make this little Mocha Mayagani bowl. Um, this was made by about four dollars in quarters. Um, now the reason why this works is because it's copper nickel, so the core of the quarter is copper and it is plated in nickel, and so therefore the nickel acts as the striation patterns or the silver patterns that you see on this here. Um, of course, there's plenty of people who have done copper nickel bowls in the past um, and, and do this as a pretty standard technique out there. Um, you know, again, the quarters is just kind of a novelty sort of situation because of that. So I figured I'd show Thomas he had never made anything like that before. And I think I've got him addicted because he brought over a whole host of more of coins he wants to take and forge into um, some more mocha bay. So you might be able to, we might do that in the future with some more videos, maybe do them into a slightly different project than just a little ring dish like you see here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, as always. Um, thank you to all the channel members that make the content here at Christ Centered Ironworks possible. Couldn't do it without you. Um, thank you to everybody who's been purchasing the treadle hammer kit that we sell over at our website, www.blacksmithingblanks.com, and everybody who's been purchasing um, the various blanks that we have over there. We have over a hundred different items listed over there uh, to help you in your forging endeavor. So be sure to check that out as well. So again, thank you, huge shout out and thank you to all of them folks. So uh, I'll do one last thing before we go here and, and talk a little bit about the finish on this. You can leave this raw and natural like it is now. It'll darken out, the copper will darken naturally over time or you can actually do some forced patinas one way or the other. One popular one I like to use is gun blue. I like to use liquid gun blue, like Birchwood Casey's, um, plum brown, or just their uh, pure blue color that they have. And it really helps speed along the aging process on this copper. I know there's some commercial products out there that you can get. Um, those are my uh, two suggestions uh, for, for darkening this out fast. Like I said, if you let this sit, it'll brown up nicely over time, and then you can just spray it with a lacquer, um, and you know you don't need anything else to do with this. Uh, one last thing I will say, you see how I'm handling it right now. Copper likes to tarnish fast, and it will have your fingerprints there. So you gotta make sure you wipe everything good down with acetone before you do your finish work and don't handle it after that point. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.